I believe um it was Ash and Lewis who sent me this story. Shout out to you, by the way, for sending me this story. And this right here is the true definition of jealousy, envy, and just downright hatred. So here you can see these three black girls, and they are competing to win a trip to NASA. And their names are Bria Snell, India Skinner, and Michaela Sharif. And they go to Benjamin Banneker, well, Benjamin A. Banneker Academic High School in Washington, D.C. So they are in this competition to win, like I said, a trip to NASA. Sorry, I had to leave off right quick, but... Yeah, so they're basically in this competition to win a trip to NASA, like I specified for um, an invention that they came up with, which is very, actually uh, very interesting, by the way. I'm going to read it. This says that they have created some kind of technology that would purify public schools water system through filtration jars that filter water while detecting pH imbalances. Sounds very interesting. Now, here's where the hate and jealousy and envy occurs. These girls were winning because it's based on a voting process. These girls had 78% of the vote. They had to shut down, the committee had to shut down the voting because some racist white person hacked the system and started stealing away these girls' votes. And I believe they left their mark because they left comments saying, well, they shouldn't win because they're black or they shouldn't win because you know they won't get it based on merit but based on popularity because they're black now that merit in that popularity and that quota thing why does that sound so familiar well that's because I just did a story about a young um, black male who got accepted into Harvard and you had that white man in Texas question whether he got in based on merit or quota because of affirmative action see this is the stuff that I'm talking about right here black people whether young old boy, girl, man, or woman can do anything that they want, whatever they put their mind to. But when you have interference players such as the colonizer, like the person who did this, interfere, that is messed up. Now, knowing this, and, and, and they, like I said, they had 78% of the vote, which means they were winning. They are winning. And I believe that the program is in Greenbelt, Maryland. Greenbelt is about maybe about 30 minutes away from me, depending on how you drive and how I drive. I probably can get there in about 15. But uh, it's messed up. Like these girls worked hard and did it on merit and on their know-how. They must have not seen the movie Hidden Figures. And despite the certain fallacies that they put in that movie, the actual story of those three black women who worked at NASA is indeed true. And here you have three young black girls pretty much trying to do, you know, the same thing. Like I said, the STEM um, department of any school is one of the most, if not the most heavily funded department ever. That's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. They get thousands of dollars every year for just that department alone because that's the department where most of the money is made so it would make sense that they would put money into that department first off i do applaud these young girls because they're doing something that many in their age group aren't even thinking of doing like creating something such as this that that takes a lot of hard work that's a lot of numbers to crunch and that's a lot of hours of work to put in like you know they're missing out on their social life they could be doing just about anything that young teenage girls their age would be doing right about now but they are worried about their future and others futures as well but to be interrupted when they are doing something such as this it's like i said it's all the way messed up but it's not shocking nor is it surprising that the colonizer would engage in such trickery as this because they are known to do stuff like this and have been it's called moving the goalposts they are mad because these girls are actually producing something tangible that they can't so in order to sabotage it which they are doing they have to try to strip it away from them because guess what will end up happening later they might end up taking it 
and passing it off as their own. I did a video last year about a black um, man in Africa. I forgot what country where he actually, I think, was creating something sort of like what they're doing. And then mysteriously, he ended up dead. And a month or so later, after he's dead, a white man came up with the same exact Thing, but under a different name all the, like they pulled the blueprints and put them side by side and it was the same exact thing that's not a coincidence and I'm very sure that now that white man has a patent for his so-called creativity I wonder how many black inventions are in that patent office and black people aren't getting paid a dime off of it probably a lot because like they like I said one of the biggest things that white people could have ever created was that patent office and it was used to steal a lot of black inventions you'll be shocked by how many inventions were created by black people but if you do the research it'll it'll blow your mind at what we at what we as a people have contributed to this society that hates us so much but either way i still want to say good luck to these young girls because they did have to shut the voting off even though they are winning and we're winning so it didn't say how many votes that this hacker took away it just said that they had a 78 percent lead which means they were pretty much winning they were pretty much in first place and i hope they didn't affect their votes and i hope that they take that into consideration and hopefully these girls can still win that uh, that trip and opportunity to go to this program to this institute y'all let me know what you think down in the comments like share subscribe i'll talk to you in the next one